Hello everyone, I'm very happy to welcome you today for this coffee lecture. Uh, I am Laureline Grandjean and I will be there to assist the presentation and help for any technical problem. Uh, today we have the pleasure to listen to Simon uh, Pasquier on Raiders of the Eurocodes and we are all very interested in uh, knowing more about these Eurocodes. As the presentation uh, will uh, last for about 10 minutes, then we will have about five minutes for a discussion with your questions, hopefully. Uh, and also uh, be aware that uh, this coffee lecture will be recorded and broadcasted on our social media accounts on the of the library. It means that it will be av available after today. You can watch it again or share it with anyone interested. Uh, you will find all the information on our website. I will share it with you uh, on the chat a bit later. Uh, then I will stop recording at the end of the presentation before the Q&A. So feel free and don't hesitate to ask any of your questions to Simon. At the end of this coffee lecture, I will share the link for a short, very short survey. If you could fill it out, it would be great because it helps us a lot to improve. Now I let the floor to my colleague, Simon. Thank you very much. Yes, great. Thank you, Laureline. So hello, everyone. I am Simon Pasquier. I am your uh, liaison librarian in civil engineering. Welcome to this coffee lecture number 10. So today's topic will be hero code. Uh, so why write readers? Just to focus that it's not easy to find a record. And if you don't understand clearly what you are looking for, uh, you can't find them. So first, I will briefly explain you what are a record. And um, so first, yes, what are a record. And in the second part, you will see how to get access easily to a record at TPFL. Okay, ready to a record? Let's start. So what are e-records? E-records are 59 European standards in the field of construction. Okay, so at these steps, it looks very easy. But record are organized thematically. There is in fact 10 family of record. Uh, if you focus on them, so there, there will be a record number one, which is action or structures, a record number two, which is concrete structures, a record number three, which is about steel structures, a record number four, about composite structure, which is mix of steel and concrete, a record number five, timber structures, number six, masonry structures, number seven, geotechnical design, number eight, earthquake resistance, and number nine, aluminum structures. The 10 one is the one we call number zero, which is here the basis of structural, structural design. Um, practically, this means that Eurocode are also official European uh, numbers. So Eurocode zero, for example, this is the European norm number 191990. Uh, okay, this is not a year, this is a standard number. Or code one will be bit, uh, the, the same logic, in fact, EN191 to 194. And here you have the amount of standard by error code. So if you make the total, you will find again the number I told in the beginning, which is uh, 59 standards. Okay, so error code are European norm. But why do you need error code? There is two reasons, in fact. The one is to make business, in fact. If you want to trade with another European country, you have to use the same standards. And the second reason also is to make a normalization of te technical specification all over the Europe. So when I speak about Europe, this is, of course, all the European country, plus Switzerland and Sweden. If you look at this map, in fact, you, you, will, you can see that today Eurocode are used by all the European countries. And also, all other countries getting interest in Eurocode today. They want more and more to use this specification. So, future maybe will tell us that more and more countries will join this common frame of standard. And the quest begins now when you want to find an Eurocode. Uh, 
to make simple, to make it simple, in fact, each country used the record by converting them in a national standard. So this is a tricky way to convert the standard. In fact, the record one, which is officially the EN1991, will be in France, the NFEN1991. In Swiss, it will be the SNEN1991. In UK, it will be the BSEN1991. And in Germany, the DIN EN1991. So each country will convert and will sell, in fact, and will use and will sell the Eurocode by transforming them in a local standard, in fact. In fact. So the contents, in fact, will be the same, but each country is allowed to use the Royal Code with what we call NDP, Nationally Determined Parameters. To make you easily understand, suppose, for example, the Royal Code tell you that um, all the walls should be painted in blue, okay? NDP will be in this case that you can choose between light blue, dark blue, you are still following the frame of the Royal Code, but you can choose locally some specific parameter. So in the case of a record, if you want details, NDP could be value where alternative are given in the record can be values uh, where a symbol is used in the record and you can choose what you want. Can be country specific data like climatic or se seismic zone map. And it can be, cho sorry, it can be choice uh given so country can choose uh when there is several options in the record um so at the epfl library you have two ways to get the euro code at the last uh, at the end of my demo um, presentation i will give you a short demo but the first way is a very easy one everyone at tpfl can get access to the euro code you just have to go on our standards web page uh, under international standards, you click, I will show you just after, and you can read all the hero code directly on your um, computer, directly in your office, uh, if you are a PFL members. This will give you, in fact, uh, an idea about the content of each hero code, uh, but with the French NDP. I will come back to, to this particularity just after. Another way is uh, specific access only for INAC researchers, so the faculty INAC and PhD. All INAC researchers and PhD have a local, local access to the SCR reader. So inside the SCR readers, you can so also find the record with the Switzerland specification. Uh, but if you open the record, you will see that about Switzerland is very easy because Switzerland decided to not fix any specific uh, parameter because there was there is already SCR standards 260 to 267 to already fill up that requirement. So uh, I will show you a quick demo about how to search for a record. Okay, as I told you, there is two ways to find the standards at EPFL. So when you are on the web page of uh, the library in the standard section, so you have the address just up there. So if you scroll down, you will see ISO International Organization for Standardization. Just open here and you have COBAS Education. So if you click on COBAS Education, Jux just accept the condition. You can also switch the interface in English. So let's do that. English, save. And then just type the hero code you are looking for. So for example, hero code number three. So you get result just here. You can find the record tree with all the sub part. Suppose you want to see this one, just click on view. And then you have the choice to see the PDF in French version or the PDF in English version in this case. So just click on PDF, download the document. And now you can see the PDF of the 
the record tree. Um, you just you know just know that on Cobas Education you can only read online uh, the PDF. You can't save it. You can't print it. Um, the things you can do is just to select interesting parts like this one. You can copy and paste in a document if you want to save that. Uh, the access is open to all EPFL members. So if you are a researcher, PhD student, bachelor degree, master degree, you can read online all the e-record on COBAS Education. The another access I spoke about, so let's go back on the library web page. So if you go back on the library web, standard web page, you can see here SCA. So just click on that. And then you can see just here, an online version is available on request for NX staff. Just contact the online hotline. So this access is only reserved for researcher and PhD student. Uh, so uh, through the, this access, you can print the PDF, but it's only restricted to researcher and PhD as I told. So if you are master degree uh, student or bachelor study, uh, bachelor degree level, you should go on COBAS education to find the euro code. Okay, so if you are still off, of course, just contact the library. We'll be very um, happy to, to help you uh, to, to find the correct standard if you, if you want. Um, so if you have any question, I'm uh, open to, to answer. Uh, 